Okay, I'm back. One more palette. We love the last one so much. Uh, this again, Target Returns. So we're just rinsing and repeating. I'm up on the porch this time because it's raining on and off and I didn't want to get any water on this stuff because I don't know what it is really. You know, it could be anything. It's electronics, it gets wet, gets ruined. Less money in my pocket. So, got another Target palette. This one costs us just around $500 with tax and everything. So we spent just a little bit more than we did last time, but no big deal. I think there's a lot here. And the other thing is, man, that last palette was so great. We absolutely loved it. Like, fantastic. It took us five days to make all of our money back, and we're probably still sitting on several hundred dollars worth of merchandise. It's already listed, it's already online, ready to go. So that's great. So I'm gonna go through this palette. Uh, I'm a little bit more cramped here, so we'll see how it goes. But because I had to pull everything out of the truck, we'll go over the big ticket items first. Those are the items that weren't in one of these bigger mystery boxes. Uh, the very first item, I don't have up here because it's heavy. Uh, but we have a coffee table with a glass top. I don't know the status of the glass top yet. That's actually one thing we're really concerned about because in the last palette, most of the furniture and stuff like that that we got was broken. So we had to throw away the umbrella the curtain rod, the bookshelf, you know, those, those larger items didn't really pan out for us. So most of the small stuff was in great condition, uh, a lot of it even brand new, but some of the big stuff uh, just wasn't as great. So hopefully that table's great, and I'll put some like photos or video in here to uh, let you know how that went when we opened that. This is the table that we were talking about. Uh, I just opened it, it was completely unopened. There are bits of the table sticking through here, I'm guessing it's part where the top bracket kind of connects to the bottom, uh, the top part of the frame, I guess, connects to the bottom part of the frame. Do you want to get in here and see what the table looks like? That's the table. So this right here is the glass. So you're going to see me open it live. Let's see if it's broken. It was all factory sealed. So, you know, the hole is... Look at that. Solid piece of glass. There's only one piece of glass in here, so we know that's it. Uh, it is unbroken. We'll be able to sell this table basically as if it's new. And uh, how much did we say this was again? 160 new. 160 new. So, you know, we'll, we should be able to get at least $80 for this, which is great. So, uh, I'm going to let you go back to the rest of the video, which is just, I guess, getting going at this point. Although, I've already opened everything, and I know what's about to happen. So... We'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, so for stuff I have right here. First off, we have a two-piece comforter set. So it's kind of your standard hotel-style white comforters. This is for a, I'm guessing it's got to be for like a twin bed. Yeah, twin XL bedding. Two-piece comforter set. So it's probably a comforter and then a smaller blanket, I guess, or is it two comforters? I don't know. Do you know? It should be a comforter and a sham. A comforter and a sham. It's usually what a comforter set is. All right, so we got a Pampers Easy Up training underwear, size 4T, 5T. My youngest daughter is uh, really getting to be this age where she needs to be using the potty. So hopefully we can just hold on to these and use these at home rather than trying to resell them. But something like this, you could definitely flip on Facebook Marketplace, no problem. We were listing, but we are listing most of the stuff we got at 50% of retail because it's, you know, it's essentially brand new or is actually brand new with tags even. Uh, like this would qualify as brand new with tags. So in a lot of cases, we can get away with putting stuff out there for 50% of retail and it's selling great. All right, here we have a curtain rod or this might be a shower rod. It's a tension rod. It's a tension rod. Uh, looks like it actually has all the pieces unlike the larger one that, that we had last week. So that is good news um, this one however is another curtain rod but it's broken it even says broken broken so we got that i believe that this is actually the bit that's broken it looks like it snapped off inside it's plastic so that will get thrown away then we have a white trash can with a flipping lid. The lid is in here. The mechanism for flipping works and it doesn't look like any of the tabs or anything are broken. So this is actually brand new. It is a little scuffed up just because it's white and it was on a pallet and in a dirty warehouse. 
Um, but honestly, we've had a trash can with one of these lids that's been broken for a little while now, so we'll probably just replace this, replace ours with this one. Got a towel tower. Um, something like this we'll pull out of the box and we'll put together, make sure everything's there, and then we'll sell it probably fully assembled. Um, the reason for that is like that bookshelf we got last week and last week's pallet. Uh, I was missing most of the pieces and all the hardware. Uh, the only thing, it did have the instructions, weirdly enough, um, and I didn't have enough pieces to even assemble because it was a two-tier bookshelf. I didn't even have enough assembles to fill, uh, like assemble one tier and maybe just use it around the house or in a workshop or something. So, yeah, I mean, we'll put it together. Hopefully it's all there. If it is, great, and we can flip it. Otherwise, you know, whatever. Same thing here. This is a wardrobe. Uh, as you can hear, it's open. Stuff's rattling around a little bit. We'll see if everything's there. Same thing as before. We'll assemble it before that. Two more bigger items. And this one, I'm super excited about. And I'm not going to flip it around because I don't want you to show you my dirty porch. But it's another one of those mirrors. See? Like that. <laughs> you can probably see that. Uh, so yeah, we got another mirror. We had two mirrors, two fully non-broken mirrors in the last video. Uh, both of them sold within maybe 30 minutes, an hour. And both sold for roughly half a retail. Those mirrors went for like $75 a piece or something like that. So great flip for us. Really excited. This is the exact same mirror we got last time. The finish might be slightly different. I don't actually know off the top of my head. But same mirror, perfect condition. We'll list it. I guarantee we'll have it sold again because we had so many people that wanted those last mirrors that were actually pretty disappointed that we didn't have them available for them. So we'll get that one gone too. Last. Last big ticket item will be another item we have to assemble, make sure everything's there. It's a little Tykes trampoline. We have one of these actually, and our kids absolutely love it, and I'm constantly concerned that they'll hurt themselves on it. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, this should go pretty quick if everything's there, you know, it'd be brand new. It is an open box, so we do need to assemble it. But that's that, so I'll clean up all these larger items, I'll get them out of the way, and we'll get to the next box. All right, so we got the big items out of the way. We have one, two, three, four, five mystery boxes. So again, these boxes could have anything and everything that you'd buy at Target. You know, last time we found really nice breast pump, uh, real expensive breast pump is probably how I should phrase that. <laughs> um, we found an Xbox controller. We found brand new sealed um, Blu-rays, all kinds of stuff. So um, these boxes are a little bit bigger, taller. As you can see, they're like three and a half feet tall. Uh, so these two anyways. So we'll get into these. I'm not gonna put it on the table. I'll just kind of reach in there and probably throw out my back trying to get the stuff out of the bottom. Okay, first off we have a duster that's dusty. So there's that, that's probably garbage. We've got, let's see, a lamp, it's a desk lamp. We'll test this out and see if it works. It looks like it's an LED one. Oh. That is not a flexible lamp. Somebody bent that. That is bent metal. So, man, that person was strong. <laughs> I would just make sure that it's not supposed to be bent. Uh, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be yeah. bent. I don't think that's supposed to be bent. We'll, we'll check, we'll look it up online, but I'm pretty sure that that is not supposed to be bent like that because it's it's got a pivot head. But if it works, I mean, maybe we could even still sell it? I don't know. Maybe a dollar. We'll see. Alright, so I got a lamp shade that most likely goes with this lamp. So, uh, the lamp shade's a little beat up, so it's probably not worth a whole lot. But we'll still test it, and if it works, we'll, we'll try to get rid of it. It's got a little plug outlet on the side. That's nice. Alright, I have the answer about the lamp. Here is an appropriate lamp. It's supposed to have a 90 degree bend in it, not a 45 degree bend. So that's where we're at. Uh, again, we'll test both of those, see if they work. 
We've got a baby toy. This is a, uh, what is this brand? B. So when I put, It's a spaceship! I, I don't know. Can you take this inside so it's not a... <laughs> that thing is awful. Hitting buttons doesn't turn it off. Nothing turns it off. It goes forever. It goes forever. And ever. And ever. As soon as that goes inside, I'll talk about what it was. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got a, so that was a baby toy. You know, we'll sell it online, or on uh, Facebook Marketplace most likely, unless it's worth something online, in which case obviously we'll flip it there. Uh, we've got a bike lock, combo lock from Word Lock. Never heard of them, but a four foot cable lock with a combo. Um, there's no key, so hopefully it says that the line, the words are supposed to be shed. So let's see if that actually unlocks the lock. There we go. Oh, is that it? I heard a click. Nope, I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to unlock this to make it worth anything to sell online or to sell them locally, but that's it. Okay, so this is one problem with these big boxes is they can be a little bit misleading. You think, man, there's gotta be so much stuff in there. Well, there's not. There's a big old ottoman. Um, I do see one problem with this ottoman. Here's the, the lid, but there's two legs and four leg holes on the bottom, so. I don't know, although I see another thing down here. Another ottoman! That has zero legs. So legless ottomans, oh, I see, oh, I see two down below. I'll dig them out. So we have two ottoman sets and four legs. So each ottoman is supposed to have their own four legs. My guess is both were missing multiple legs. Between the two of them, we have one with legs and one without. So, you know, they don't, I don't see any tears or staining or anything on the fabric. So these are otherwise like working perfect condition. Uh, we'll be able to sell one with legs and one without. So I'm gonna move these off to the side. Just a couple more items in the bag, box here. And I think this is everything. I'll do a thorough sweep underneath the bottom flap of the box. So we have a loose face mask. Makes me a little nervous uh, with everything going on. It's supposed to be a two pack of coral face masks. We've got one. You know what, I'll wash it and we'll use it around here so, no sweat. I have a two pack of Secret Invisible Sound pH Balance Powder Fresh deodorant. So, I don't know. Yeah, that might get used here, it might not. Obviously not by me. Oh, that's, that's neat. It's a storage organizer for your mini fridge. So you drape it over the edges of your mini fridge and you can put your uh, solo cups with ping pong balls and uh, you know, your cheap plastic plates and stuff uh, in there. I'm sure that's only worth like a dollar or two, but still neat. And then finally, 20 pairs of men's crew socks. 
What size is this? I don't wear crew socks. It's a, I like my calves to breathe. I don't know what size this is. Where did I put the size? Oh, 6 to 12. Shoe size 6 to 12. I am within that range, but yeah, I probably won't be keeping those. We'll figure out something to do with those. And that's it for this box. I'll clear all this off and we'll get another one. Okay, that box out of the way. I got a tag for one of those garbage lamps. Um, next box. Let's see what we got. Okay, right off the top, we have a little bit of artwork. I don't know if this is one of those canvases you paint yourself or if you're supposed to hang it like this. I assume it'd be like this, actually. It's uh, two people holding hands with their pinkies interlocked. It's uh, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Okay, we've got dog bed, um, boots and Barkley, pet, small pet bed. Uh, man, I seem feel like we're keeping too much, but I mean, like, our cat might love this. Not that one. All right, we've got a threshold. Uh, you know, wall mount for hooks and stuff, which my wife and I were just talking about how we need something like this in our bathroom. So this is like, actually matches our bathroom too, which is fantastic. So uh, we'll probably just keep that, save us, uh, you know, probably 10 bucks or whatever. So cool. And all the mounting hardware is there. I think why this one got uh, the, the little mount that holds it to the cardboard is missing on one side. But all the mounting hardware to put it in your wall is still here. So I think that's probably why they liquidated it. So they were confused. Thought the mounting hardware was gone. Big old wicker basket. Oh, bummer. So no beach trips for us. I wonder if that's repairable. It is just sewn with like twine, it looks like. And then that twine ripped out. So I bet that's repairable. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. This is a $40 bag. It might be worth it figuring out how to do that. Ooh, Oral-B, healthier gum, stronger teeth life. Uh, toothbrush. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word toothbrush. Because it doesn't, oh, there it is, rechargeable toothbrush. So it doesn't say the word. So, it, oh, it comes with a travel case as well for, you know, all the traveling we're allowed to do right now. We've got a uh, shower caddy, and is that a mouth guard, or is that just something that, I think that's just something to protect that's just something to protect. I was nervous I was touching someone's used mouth guard. A little Steph Curry action there. What? I think it goes at the top. Oh, uh, up around here. Oh, yeah. Maybe? Like this? Yeah, that's what it is. And then you can hang it on like a hook in the store, most likely. Or maybe even on just a shower head. So anyways, shower caddy. Nice backpack. Is this Swiss? Yeah, Swiss gear. That is that is a good brand. That's actually the backpack I use at work is Swiss gear. It's a little bit heavier duty than this one. So, awesome. Uh, all the zippers seem to work. Yeah, all the clips seem there. Nothing seems snapped and broken. This looks brand new. Awesome. I've got a... Melissa and Doug spray squirt squeegee cleaning set. Melissa and Doug's stuff is sometimes a little strange. Like play, being an adult, but not in a fun way. <laughs> uh, here is a pitcher. I'm guessing you put fruit or ice in here. Or maybe that tube doesn't even belong in there. I don't. No, it definitely belongs in there. I don't know the point of it. There's a pitcher. Might actually have to clear some of this stuff off. We've got, oh, that's neat. It's wallpaper for under your stairs. So as you're walking up, you've got the tread, which is the flat part of your stairs and whatever the vertical part is. I don't know what that's called. Uh, it's wallpaper for that. It's an ugly pattern. I don't know why you'd want to wallpaper that part of your house, but here you have the option to do so. There is a toilet seat in here that is in a Target bag. So I'm pretty well convinced that that's a return. 
and I do not really want to touch it, but I'm going to because there's other stuff in here. Uh, I don't know. At first glance, it, it doesn't look gross. It's still kind of in the original packaging, but man, I'm freaked out by that. Is that one of those cushioned ones? It is a cushioned one, which the cushioned ones are like even grosser for some reason. So you might as well, I don't know, I just feel like it might as well be carpeted. So I'm going to put this to the side and uh, honestly, we'll pull that out of the bag and I'll look at it. And if it's clean, uh, we'll try to get rid of it. But if it's not, that, that might just be a garbage item. But I want some gloves before I do that in a hazmat suit. piece of ceramic here. Oh yeah, we have a ceramic uh, lamp, kind of a little bubble. Um, there's a lampshade that is just garbage dented, so. What? What? <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> there's a lamp. That lamp's nice. There is another, oh man, it also has a lamp in it. So the thing with these lampshades is, and why I can throw them on the ground and nobody should be yelling at me if I'm off camera. Whisk. Uh, is all these little attachments in the middle that hold the lampshade to the lamp are busted out. So those are garbage. The lamps aren't though. Um, you know, sell them to someone who has a shade. Works out for them. Okay, we've got an Arctic Air Ultra. Enjoy cool, clean air anywhere. So it's basically like a little desktop air conditioner, I guess. Um, this box might be open. It looks like it's been opened. Yes, open box. We'll test it out, see if it works. Um, like I said, most of the smaller stuff we got like this in the last palette did work, so I've got high hopes for like this, that toothbrush. Um, that's all we've got so far that really needs tested out like that. What is up with getting weird jelly things? These are super wobble bubble balls. So, uh, there's a pump included. Oh, cool. All right, we have two sets. Yeah. Well, we might be having some wobble balls going around a little later. Wobble balls. Yeah, uh, just a pool toy, SpongeBob uh, style. This tower is getting a little dangerous. Oh, that's nice. I don't know this brand at all, but Chris and Air S uh, curling iron. So. It doesn't look like it's sealed in the box, but this might not be one of those sealable boxes. Oh, oh, look at that. A whole bunch just like that. Oh, wow. It does look used, but we can probably clean that up. If it's worth anything on the resale market, we'll definitely sell it. Um, it smells like hairspray or something. Some kind of hair product. I don't like it. Keep smelling it. Uh, Camelback water bottle. Nice. Actually, this is the kind of water bottle I used for years, um, but I stopped using them because I couldn't keep mold from growing up in the, the nipple part here. So, uh, yeah, and I, I would wash it regularly. I didn't know what was going on. So I switched to a glass bottle that just has a hinged lid. Much prefer that. 
Alright, there's a bunch of random stuff in here. Let's see. <laughs> uh, we've got a bunch of Speedo swim goggles in various states of being open. So, those are kind of neat. Some black ones, some pink ones. Um, we could probably lot all these up and sell them locally. A bunch of unused. Again, just ripped open. These are boys' crew socks, uh, 12 pairs. Um, and like I said, they're just loose. Here is a piece of paper, which is for the Wubble Ball. Uh, we've got a piece of uh, Maybelline, even skin cone. I don't know what kind of makeup this is. I don't know what makeup is. Concealer! Whatever concealer does, it conceals. So, actually, looks like it's brand new in the box, so I don't know if that's worth anything, but my wife is thrusting her thumbs at herself like this, as in, that will come to me, <laughs> just like the boy's socks. Wubble lubricant. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's so you can lube up the uh, the pump before you stick it in the ball. But wubble lube. <laughs> There's another piece to the wubble pump. Lube up your pump. We've got a oh a Camelback uh, kids bottle, so they can lose it in the back of your vehicle, and then the nipple can get full of mold, uh, as I complained about earlier. <laughs> Um, this will probably, I, I got a house full of women. I'm the only man that lives in my house. There's five of us that live in this house. Um, these are goody uh, hair ties. They've got little beads in them. So uh, that will be for sure something I'm sure we keep. Also something hard to sell. Um, it's probably one of the speedo things. There's some other stuff in there, including some more of these loose socks. And uh, it's mostly like pieces to the wubble pumps and uh, garbage. So I'm not pulling anything else out. There's bits of the lampshades that are broken in there. Um, so we have a USB-C cable here, which is like, you know, big deal, USB-C cable. It is uh, two meters, so it's about six feet, which is a good length. What's cool about this is this is Apple branded USB-C. I use Apple products. I know for a fact Apple products are stupid expensive. So even something like a cable like this might have some weird resale value. Um, it's obviously in an open box, but because I have all Apple products, I'll definitely be able to test this out, see if it works, and then we can sell it. I also have plenty of these USB-C cables, not necessarily Apple branded, because I don't need my cables to be uh, Apple, but they will, uh, you know, if this is worth anything, we'll, we'll definitely resell it. So that's cool. I'll clean up the table here. Uh, and we've got three more boxes to go through, so let's do that. All right, so next box. Um, this one has a bunch of, I don't know if you can see it. I put this on here so I wouldn't get it all over my truck, uh, or me. Um, we got a bunch of glitter paint, spray paint, whatever that is, and it's like still wet. Um, and this thing's probably been, you know, in a warehouse throughout a Target and stuff for a while, so I don't know why it's still wet, but yeah, it's gross. Weird. All right. All right, at the top, we've got a open box Dentec mouth guard. It actually is a mouth guard, like we found uh, what I thought I found in the last one. Uh, OTC mouth guard. Oh, you know what? This is actually sealed new in box. It's uh, just crushed a little bit. So we might be able to sell it. And the mouth guard is right there where you can see it. So it looks clean. Let's see if anyone wants that. Couple LO super clean, clean sipping water bottles. So we'll probably just keep this as well for our myriad of children. 
allergy protection pillows. One pillow. So, looks like there's a lot we're keeping here is the motions I'm getting. <laughs> oh, we'll keep that. We barely kept anything in the last pillow, to be honest. A uh, couple smaller items, no big deal, but. Well, your daughter needs a new pillow, so. My daughter does need a new pillow. Um, and which daughter? Oldest one. Oldest one needs a new pillow? She's been bugging me about it. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Um, this is some kind of sheet set. I don't know if, uh, queen. I have a queen size bed. I'm keeping, <laughs> I'm keeping that. <laughs> We need new sheets. We're desperate for new sheets. Uh, one random hand towel, um, which, let's be honest, if I've only got one hand towel, probably kidding. <laughs> We're not supposed to keep this stuff. We're supposed to make money off of it. Uh, this is a, oh, it's a sandwich cutter to make it look like a frog. It's a frog. Yeah, you cut it like this. See how it elevates out? Uh, you smush that into your bread, and what it'll do is it'll cut the vast majority of the sandwich off the sandwich for your child, uh, leaving very little nutritional value for them, of course, uh, and then imprint this uh, murderous frog. I don't know if anyone wants that. <laughs> Nice area rug. Doesn't seem to be any stains on it or anything. It's a little weird, I think, just because it's been folded. So, you know, area rug. There seems to be a lot of My happy pants. I see something I like. Something, something I'm gonna try not to keep. <laughs> it's a table runner um, for your tiki bar. We've got a uh, another table runner for your Italian villa. We've got one of those uh, 50 feet uh, three quarter inch hoses. Um, I don't. I my grandpa uses it. My grandpa's like a big time gardener and stuff, and and he got one of these and he, he liked it but everyone else I've heard talk about these things say they are just awful so I don't know open box I mean I don't know if we'll be able to sell that we'll, we'll test it out see if it works more face masks oh so in the last uh palette we found two face masks there's a pack of two just plain black ones they were open I, you know obviously I'm not going to resell I feel like if I'm reselling masks I, I'm like contributing like i feel like maybe people want to think i'm a price gouge or whatever and I, I just don't want anything to do with that so i just kept them and when i went to uh tr i went to like test one out as far as like measure up my face and those masks were for giant people just the biggest people that have ever lived had to be the ones that wear those masks they were i mean like the mask covered my entire face i looked like just ridiculous like a balaclava so uh we threw them away um, they were also like a really kind of bad material, so um, please don't get on me. I, I could have donated them, but with everything going on, I feel weird donating uh, masks. And masks are kind of abundant now. All right, we'll get a few plates here, all the same style, set of four. Uh, moving plates is a bit hard. Now we've got L'Oreal Paris, longer lashes, uh, mascara, that's what that's called, mascara. That is also unopened. Box, just a little bit of box damage. Handful more masks. So these are actually like branded masks. They only go for two dollars in the store. Um, not a lot of nice patterns. We might keep a lot of these. This is actually a multi-pack here, so that's a four dollar one. Um, you know, we'll, again, there's five of us here, plus you know, family and stuff. They'll probably end up getting those, assuming they're not for giant face people, which is a problem. I don't know any people with faces that big. I've never seen a human being with a face that big. Um, we've got some clothes, some white long sleeve shirts. I can't tell if they're men's or women's. Um, they're probably men's. Hard to tell though. That one's a men's shirt for sure. Um, right, I'm going to get to the thing I was really excited about. Um, my wife probably won't let me keep this and I have to make sure my kids aren't looking. But I got a cool ass Lego set. Sorry I said ass. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a monster burger truck. That is that is I'm so happy. That is so cool. What? 
Oh, is it open? Oh, it's open. All right, well, the good thing about Lego is if all the bags are still in there and still sealed. Oh, they're not. Oh my God, they're in Ziplocs. <laughs> What kind of monster returns open and Walmart branded Ziplocs, no less. This is a Target. Okay, so the good news is I get to keep this. <laughs> At least long enough to put go through the instructions, put everything together, make sure it's all there. Use Lego with all the pieces if you can guarantee it actually does sell really well. Um, I don't know if this particular set would be worth anything and we'll check that out as well. Um, I know these sets are actually usually only 30 or $40 brand new, so it might not be worth reselling, but I will enjoy myself and fully assemble this on one quiet Sunday afternoon and then uh, see if everything's there. If it is, awesome. If not, uh, we'll just have loose Legos laying around the house. With that uh, White House set. Yeah, I, we got a White House set at a yard sale once. The White House is actually fully assembled, or at least it appeared fully assembled, so took it apart reassembled it. it was all there and i paid two dollars for that at a yard sale and we sold it for 60 bucks and it wasn't like a big set like the white house itself was like this big it so, was the lego architect yeah ah, we have a blender but there's shoes on top of the blender so we've got some oh man these are some gnarly speedo Used shoes speedo shoes yeah Ugh, those are it's wrong those are garbage um we've got a blender I'm trying to tell if this has been used Looks like maybe it's been used, but it looks pretty clean, so we'd be able to clean that up. I'm getting told something. So we'll check out this blender and see if that works. Um, some nail polish that has other nail polish on it, but otherwise looks fine. <laughs> um, a rack and the bits that fell off of it were parts of the rack so that's cool um all those plastic bins and stuff we got in the last one were garbage so i'm not surprised that that's also broken uh we've got a really cool high power fan so it's getting cold around these parts this time of year so i'm sure that's going to be useless for us another thing that won't be used much there's some trunks uh these are probably boys older boys they are cat and jack uh Size 16 swim trunks. I've got a grip liner for like countertop or whatever. I've got a shower mat. Man, this set is not as nice as the last one. There's packaging for that table runner. Ooh, Fortnite Nerf gun. It is open. Um, but it looks like everything's there. So we'll test that out and see if it's any good. I feel like Fortnite, the market's pretty saturated in that, so I don't know that the Fortnite stuff's gonna be worth anything. A couple more items that I'll run through here. Um, we've got a heated silicone brush. That might be worth something. It's Revlon, that's a good brand. We've got um, some boxer briefs. These are size extra large, 18 to 20. I'm guessing those are for boys, so. Um, these are some of the boxer briefs. Another mask. Oh, cool. Little um, John Deere Monster Treads tractors. Okay. And a couple towels. And that's basically it for this box. There's some other couple random pieces of garbage down there. That's it. So I'll pack all this up and get another one, and then we'll be back at it. All right. Second to last box. Right off the top, we've got some diapers. It does have Target tape on it. I don't know if the diapers are open or not, uh, but I see both packs of diapers in there, so I know that this is, in fact, diapers. Okay, we've got a lot of these little boxes in here. Let's see what we got. It doesn't, uh... Oh, these are plates. Plates, a little purplish, brownish edge. So, I'm guessing we might have someone's like uh, wedding gift in here. Let's see, 
Um, we've got some Captain Jack's crew socks. Man, so many, so many crew socks. Okay. Yep, four pack enamel plates. Same thing as before. Ooh, unlabeled. Four pieces. Legs? Could these be to our ottoman? To our ottoman! They are! So I wonder if some employee threw the legs in one box and threw those in another, or if they thought they were missing, they were just not where they were looking. A bunch of quote-unquote building blocks. Building blocks is what they call them. 64 count. They're little plastic tabs. So that's some... Uh, I will not give my kids this because this is the kind of thing that... Like, we'll let them have Legos because Legos are cool or whatever. Um, but, you know, like Lincoln Logs or Tinker Toys or, you know, put something in there like that. This kind of stuff just ends up strewn all over your house. And if it's a non... You know, Lego is at least Lego, and it all works together. You know, this is a one-of-a-kind thing, so your kids aren't going to have, like, a million of these everywhere that they can interlock and build with. So stuff like this, I, I just hate having around. <laughs> I'm expecting to find some Pokemon underwear in here, because that's what this is for. Uh, more four-pack of plates. Barkeeper's friend, cleaner for like uh, stainless steel, porcelain, ceramic, copper. Something like this we might keep. Um, I don't have a ton of stuff that that'll work on, or st stuff that would need that. But yeah, it's an option. Okay, something about a kitchen. It's covered up by a sticker. Oh, more plates. Actually, these match the plates that were in the other set, so. More plates. A lot of plates. Um, Scotch Velcro. Um, this is sort of like Velcroing your like cushions down to your furniture or whatever. Baby towel. So you can be a Triceratops. That's cute. That's cute. My kids have one where they're a frog and one where they're a pirate. And uh, it's always super cute. What? And a superhero one. And a superhero one. Uh, dino towel, looks like. That actually might go with that Triceratops thing. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog underwear. I wonder if this... Did someone think Sonic was Pokemon? I find that offensive. Um, but this is Child's Sonic underwear. This is another pack of plates. Lots of plates. Come get your plates. I have a plate store. Uh, Goodfellow & Co. is, what size is this? What size is this? Small, darn it. A little bit bigger than a small. Black t-shirt. Mostly worthless. All right, I've got a Kitchen Smith Immersion Blender with Whisk. So that's all right. You know, we'll check out that, see if it's worth anything. Another pair of Sonic underwear. We've got a New Day uh, 1799 originally priced cheetah print or giraffe print, maybe, uh, top. This is um, Ebenezer Scrooge's gown. You know, if you're going to be visited by Marley, it's a good thing to have. Another USB-C charging cable. Uh, this one not Apple branded, so it's not uh, worth as much. Six foot as well. It's probably worth, I don't know, four or five dollars. All right, let's get them out of the way. Plates. 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 So there are two styles of plates here. Like these ones are one style. This is another style. Um... Now we'll separate them out. Actually, having that many plates is a bit better because it's a little easier to sell a larger collection of plates than just like four or five uh, plates. Because if you can tell someone, hey, I've got like a whole massive dinner, 
uh, you know, like Thanksgiving around the corner or Christmas around the corner, someone would be like, oh, that would actually work out for me because then I have a complete set for my entire extended family that's coming along. Polka dot shower curtain. Oh, no, rainbow shower curtain. Uh, monotone rainbow shower curtain. It's like burnt orange, pink, and yellow. Or tritone, but whatever. Hey, oh, shorts. Got a uh, Room Essentials three shelf hanging closet organizer. Some various pieces of clothing. Uh, dr women's dress, some like Spanx or something, and a swim top. Swim suit. It is a swim suit. I stand corrected. All right, something we'll definitely just keep around. Slightly open box of Q-tips. Yeah, saves us 50 cents. We've got Carol's daughter for dry doll and blue Brittle hair shampoo, it's like travel shampoo, and uh, nail polish. Knee high socks, and a dish drying rack, a loose earring with no matcher, no match. Oh, oh! There's the match. No pearl. There's the pearl. There's the pearl. Actually, yeah. Oh. Didn't want it to fall through the crack of my porch. There's no way to get under this porch. We had it sealed off to keep the chickens out of it, and yeah. So that is that. Oh yeah, that's it for that box. We'll go uh, go through the next one. I'm gonna be honest. So far, it's not the best palette. It's uh, I mean, we've already seen $500 worth of stuff, but you know, a lot of labor here in moving this stuff. Not gonna be uh, not gonna be easy to make our money back on this one, to say the least. Unless there's some amazing stuff in that box, which I don't think there is. There we go. All right, final box. Pillow fort bedspread for a size of bed. Does it say anywhere? It's probably twin. I don't see any. Oh, twin. Right there. Twin. Oh, man. Big money. City scene duvet cover set. Cool. Couple uh, leopard pillows for your, uh, your study where you keep all your severed animal heads. A little bit of basket action for you. It's actually kind of nice if you could maybe straighten it out and whatnot. It'd be good in the corner. Throw a couple blankets in. Yeah, seagrass basket. Float a baby down the river. This is like a baby swim bottom, I guess. A swim top. Does not match that one. Let's see, a mask. Oh, popsicle napkins. A pacifier. Cutie Pat, Pacifier and Teeter. All right, we've got a uh, Unikitty pillow from the Lego Movie, another pair of set of swim goggles, and the last, and certainly the least, is one roll of pink party streamers. So yeah, I really hope that table is not shattered. That glass tabletop, we'll see. Uh, 
you've already seen, I guess, so I don't even know why I'm bringing it up now. But um, like I said, there is, there is $500 worth of stuff here. A little bit more. We'll get into some profit even. But we are going to work for every penny of that profit. And I mean, that's the name of the game. You buy these. They are a mystery. Use your best judgment. Uh, you know, we saw these big mystery boxes. We had gotten, had really great luck in our last set of mystery boxes. Um, but you know what? These boxes were significantly larger than the last ones. And maybe that means that the significantly larger ones are going to be more likely to be kind of more random, even cheaper stuff. So, lesson learned, we might, next time we go, we'll try to stick to the smaller mystery boxes. I mean, they were still large boxes, but they weren't quite this bulky. Um, and, and see if we kind of recreate our luck that way. We went super early in the morning this time. We went like, we were, it's a three hour drive for us. So it's a bit of a haul. Uh, but we got there just right after they opened. And uh, there were a decent amount of people there. It wasn't packed. The place doesn't seem like it's ever packed. But... Uh, you know, a lot more people there than normal, and a lot of competition. I didn't feel a lot of pressure, though. I felt like we were we were able to get almost whatever we wanted. Um, you took a gamble. This seemed like a heavy pallet, which it was, and I'm learning now that's because of a big, heavy metal table and a bunch of plates. So, um, it is what it is. We'll probably buy another one. I'm not saying this is it, but a uh, lesson learned. And next time... I think we'll probably look out for shoes because we, we're doing so well on the kids' shoes from the first palette that if we have a chance to see shoes, we'll probably buy shoes. Um, there were no shoes in this one, only a handful of clothes, uh, which those things sell. You know, they're maybe not the most exciting thing. You'd rather find uh, Lego sets and stuff like that. That's always more fun, but kids' shoes sell. So we'll pack all this up. Thanks for watching. Do your like, commenting, like, commenting, and subscribing. All that good stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll get another one. We're going to get another one. This one's not as exciting. We'll do better next time. So, thanks for watching.